Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going over a topic that I've been asked for for a few times inside of my streams, and I have already gone over fireflies and I've gone over bees, but what a lot of people are saying is, Sim, what are the best ways to take out the uh, new mosquitoes that are added to the game because some people are having some problems with them, and I thought, why not make a really quick video for you guys on the morning that I'm about to go have a baby, but I'm still going to be here doing it because I love this game and I love you guys, so I might as well do it. And here we are. So today I'm going to be giving you guys three different ways on the best ways to take out a, a one of the one of the new mosquitoes. Sorry, I'm all over the place here a little bit, but we are going to be showing you guys. So in order to find mosquitoes, first of all, they're always going to be near these rocks. So if you're on these rocks, normally they'll spawn either right here over in that area back over there where that swamp is or across the water right over there by that rock. But here is one here right now and we're going to show you the first way. The first way is with the mosquito rapier. Now with this way I'm going to tell you you're going to need either uh, B level armor or you're going to need um, spider armor or ladybug armor because this is the physical way to do it. And you need to block. You need to constantly block because if they hit you without having the block up, you might die. So always, also, always, always, always keep moving. You always want to keep moving whenever you're fighting one of the flying creatures. This is a big tactic that is super important, guys. Keep moving. Do not stop moving. Do not let them hit you without blocking. Now, with this tactic, you're best to have the shield on because the shield will help you block more damage. I just happen to forget mine back at the base. But use your shield to your advantage. The second way is with the mint mace this is a pure beat down method okay this one's gonna be you're just gonna go in and try to do as much damage as you can when you're doing this method throw a heal pasta at your feet while wearing the ladybug gear do not try this method while wearing the spider gear or wearing without wearing uh the ladybug gear really in general all the other armors it's just not gonna be strong enough uh to take the hits from the mosquito now I know right there it didn't really look like the mosquito was doing that much damage, but I'm currently playing on mild because this is the game mode that I use in order to show you guys tips and tricks. That way I'm not dying repeatedly while trying to explain something. So when you get into when you get into medium and when you get into woe, the mosquitoes start to hit way harder, which is why I was saying using a heal boss or using things like that is gonna become super important. Now I'm gonna show you my beatdown method here. This one requires a little bit of perfect blocking. And then once you get your perfect block down, you can really just give it to him. All right, that 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 didn't feel good, Mr. Mosquito. But this is actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys the third method right now. The third method, this one was adapted from Mike Lowry and Rogar. If you guys know them, or Rodar, I'm sorry. They are fantastic people who do wonderful grounded videos as well. Shout out to both of them. If you guys just go search the Mike Lowry show or uh, Rodar, both of them make Fanta and Rodar's R-O-O. D-O-O-R, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's how you spell out that. They're both wonderful grounded YouTubers and they kind of developed this one together. And then I'm kind of putting it into practice here to show you guys what I'm talking about and also helping them out as well. So what you do is you equip um, a pair of aphid slippers. This is important because you need to move fast. The other thing you can do if you don't have aphid slippers, but you're wearing ant, if you're wearing uh, spider gear, <laughs> spider gear will help as well. But um, you're going to want to wear two pieces of spider gear. Normally what you do is you wear aphid slippers and you wear a gas mask. Okay. With both of these things equipped, then you equip your bow. All right. With your bow, you want to shoot a bunch of gas arrows all around him and just keep moving. And what helps is if you jump and the more gas arrows you put on the ground, the faster it's going to take out his health. Now you will take damage on this, this way to do it because there's no way around it. You will get hit by the mosquito at least once. Okay, that's just a, a guaranteed proven thing. You will get hit by this mosquito. I can't pick up this arrow. There it goes. You will get hit by the mosquito at least once doing this method. Um, I've seen a couple people not be able to get hit by the mosquitoes. Oh, be gone, you tiny little buddy. I didn't mean to hurt your friend. I meant to hurt the mosquito. Um, but like I said, you will probably get hit. I've seen people be able to do it without getting hit, um, but just be ready for it. So keep yourself a, a healing patch on, get yourself a smoothie, a random question mark smoothie will do the trick and you'll only really need one of them. Now, <clears throat> 
when you're going through and you're doing that method, the trick the trick to it is do not stop moving. Whatever you do, do not stop moving. Because if you're moving, you have less of a chance of getting hit. You cannot block with a bow, so you need to keep moving so you don't die. But as long as you have the gas mask on and these aphid slippers, you move pretty darn quick. So you shouldn't have to worry about it. Some skills that could help you guys with this is if you're using your bow, having on sharpshooter, really helpful. Put that on. Another one that could help, guys, is if you have mint defense on or fresh defense. If you have that on, you're gonna take a little less damage. Okay? If you if you forget your gas mask, that's a good thing. Um, and then also coup de grass, always, always, always a good one to have up. I would suggest that you have that one because at the end of the day, the coup de grass is gonna up your crit level and your crit chance, and crits do massive amounts of damage to the bugs in the backyard. So I would definitely suggest having this one on. The last one I could suggest if you guys are just looking for something to run around with and you're just doing general fighting and you're gonna swap back and forth between these tactics, is I would suggest meat shield. Um <clears throat> so that way you have more health than what you had before i know it's kind of one of those like really sim meat shield but you would be surprised that a little bit more health can really help you in a sticky situation especially fighting more than one mosquito at a time i got really lucky where they all only came one at a time but at the end of the day if you get invaded by more than one you just want to be careful because you can die pretty easily and pretty quickly by the way this mosquito uh trick for gassing the mosquitoes actually does work as well for ladybugs because the gas will compound to take them out so it'll work pretty well and it'll work for the bees and for the fireflies as well but just be weary that gas arrows are hard to make and you need to farm a bunch of stink bugs. And if you need to farm stink bugs, look over. You see this weed that's right here in my distance that I'm kind of hovering on right now? Go over to that weed. There's always stink bugs right over there in this area. And then just go over there. Get them stuck on a rock and shoot them with a bow with your gas mask on. You'll be able to take out stink bugs and get plenty of stink bug sacks without a problem to make tons of stink arrows. Those gas arrows really do come in handy. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the actual mosquito repair itself, the weapon that you get from making the mis from uh, killing a bunch of mosquitoes. Okay, so it's under workbench uh, tools, and you scroll down, and it is right here. It's the mosquito needle. Now they've upped the damage a little bit that they put in since they originally released. It. the speed is still up as high as it was and they add a little bit more stun because they figured it wasn't stunning the enemy enough now i wouldn't see this needing to stun the enemy that much and if you guys want to slow enemies don't forget you can throw pollen at them but at the end of the day it's not that difficult to make it's two mosquitoes you have to take out at most as long as the mosquito attacks you and you block it you're going to get a mosquito blood sack so just let it Block the damage, let it hit you once, and then kill it. And Silk Rope, you should have hundreds of this by now. And if you don't have hundreds of this, go take out some spiderlings. You'll get a lot of it. Or just go take down the webs that are all around the, the map, and then you don't even have to fight anything. You can just take down webs, and then you have it. Um, but make up this Mosquito Needle. It gives you life steal. This life steal plus the gear bonus that you get from the Ladybug gear. With When you get all of them up, you get um, Scarlet Embrace, which heals you over time. Time, plus the shield which means you can take even more damage if you're blocking plus the life steal you become almost in a mobile in a mobile tank and it's gonna be hard as heck to kill you you're gonna have a hard time dying at that point and then if your health ever starts to get low for whatever reason say you're fighting a wolf spider just go ahead and bring a smoothie with you because having those smoothies with you and having maybe even a health pot or a heal bossa any of those things will make it just so you have enough to keep going these tips that i've given you i have killed hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of spiders in this game i've gotten close to killing probably 50 60 mosquitoes now about 20 bees and maybe 15 fireflies the fireflies i haven't killed as many of them because they're a little bit slower on respawn uh, but these tips and tricks really will help you guys in 6.0 when it finally releases out of public test at least as for now hello mr b 
goodbye cute mr b man but these will help you guys in 6.0 when it finally releases for everybody or if you're playing in the public test and they will have it so it's going to be a much easier time that you're going to have in this game and really all around it's just fun guys doing this is just a ton of fun and i'm happy that all you guys are enjoying the video so thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please make sure you guys hit that like button for me leave me a comment down below if you guys use any of these tips and also say hello to baby sim because he will be here very soon and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one.